What the heck? Just as I'm working on my treadmill, I find out that Elemental Beta version 3.22 is out, so obviously I've got to do a quick dive in in a video for you. The two big things are the off canvas widget and some performance improvements, but I just want to focus on one little thing before we jump into the meaty stuff. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Child containers, content width to full. At the moment when you add in child containers, they're automatically set to boxed, and sometimes you end up adding stuff and it doesn't look quite right. So I'm I'm so glad they've now tweaked it that your child containers are full width when you add them into the parent container. Let's kick off with the new off canvas widget. The idea with the off canvas widget is that you could click a link and then another container is going to appear on the screen. Once you've got the beta version, you do have to make sure that nested elements is activated and you should already have this active now. It's been around for so long. If you're not, then you are not getting the most out of your tabs, your accordions and other features. I'm going to start off with a brand new page called nested we're going to go to our widgets and i'm going to type off and there we go now at the moment there is an icon missing so i take that as a bit of a bug or a glitch remember this is the beta version at the moment so let's not like focus on that too much even though i am kind of focusing on it but let's just go and drag that onto our screen instantly get this like the overlay appears so it reminds me of like the pop-up off canvas menu now with the navigator open we can see we got the container we have the off canvas so remember we started off with a blank page you drop your off canvas in so that was the original container that's now the off canvas and inside of there we have this container so into here clicking on it i'm going to go and drop in a header i'm going to add in a text editor and i'm going to drop in a wordpress menu and i'm going to make it be vertical now i'm not going to do tons of formatting here because i'm just trying to show you how the beta works so if i click back onto the off canvas widget let's now explore the layout well we've got editing mode so that's on and off we've got our positioning so i could put it in the center or the right hand side let's just leave it on the left and i can modify the vertical position as well now at the moment this isn't really going to do anything Anything because we haven't adjusted the custom height so if I was to go and make this be something like 36 now I could move it so if I wanted to have something like that on the right hand side we could also modify the width so if I go for 100 we get a full screen off canvas or you could shrink it down to be how you want now let's go to the settings tab how do we want it to appear I'm going to go with slide in left because it comes in from the left and when it exits it's going to be slide out left and I'm going to change the duration to be 0.5 I think 1.5 is quite slow don't you 0.7 is okay but 0.5 we'll go with that and just like with the pop-up menu do you want to prevent closing on overlay i've gone to the style tab and i'm going to give this a quick background color just so it stands out a bit and i'm going to change the overlay as well and i'm actually going to make it be a little bit darker or you could change the color as well and i'm going to hit update i'm going to go back to my off canvas widget i'm going to go to content and i'm now going to say well take off the editing mode because we now have to add something onto this page to basically trigger and open it. Yeah, I know it's not very inventive, heading, text, image, and text as well, but here's what we're gonna do. We are now gonna trigger that off canvas widget. So I'm gonna go to this heading and go to my link, and I'm gonna click on dynamic tags. And normally we would have gone and selected pop-up if you created an off canvas pop-up template. And you click that, open template, put your template name in. We now have a new feature on here called off canvas. So I'm now going to click that. Then I'm going to click on the spanner or wrench. I'm going to ensure that my feature is open off canvas. And there is my widget off canvas one, because that's the one on the page. Now, I think I'm going to have to add in a close button, but I just want to test this out. So let's go and hit update. And when I now click on the heading, you can see it appears with the overlay. You could remove the overlay. Don't forget to check how this looks on the mobile so that your margins and your paddings and your layout. Now, I have disabled or enabled the part where I could click on this to close it down. Remember, I'd said don't do that when you click on the overlay. Well, I re-enable that. Because at the moment, if you click on here, it's not going to close. So here's a quick tip on how you could close by having another icon on here. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So I'm going to go back to my off canvas and make sure that it's in editing mode. I'm going to drop in an icon and I've just moved it to be above my header. I mean, look, you could modify this, turn it into a row so you can have them in line and all of that. 
Go for times, I'm going to pick this X symbol over here. If you type in close, it won't give you that. You've got to type in times. Let's go and add that in. Let's shrink it down. I'm just going to go for 20 for now. But here's the important bit. Go to where you have the link. Click on dynamic tag. Go to off canvas. And I'm going to hit the spanner and the wrench. And this time, we're going to say close off canvas. And I'm going to change it to be off canvas one. And then we're going to click update. So if you really want to have the X button in there to close it, that's how you do it. So when I now preview it and I click it, it opens. I've now got the X over there to close it. So that's the off canvas widget. But we're also told about performance improvements. And there's now another tab for us to go and have a look at that. So let's go over to elemental settings. As long as you've got the elemental beta for the free and the pro, when you go to elemental settings, you'll now have a new tab called performance. We've got CSS print method, optimized image loading and optimized Gutenberg loading. These were previously in the elemental features and the advanced tab but now they've got their own dedicated area to be honest though this isn't that different from what you were getting before but if you go and read the feature notes and the link will be in the video description this does show that elemental are doing a whole lot more and if you watch my video on when i compared previous versions to version 3.21 there is a big boost and shift in elemental performance when you have a brand new website so this is pretty exciting new features and can you imagine if you are now building like an off canvas maybe you've got your header template open and before you went and created a pop-up template because then you were going to now activate that so you had a separate template and then you were calling it or summoning it well now you could have your header template and you're doing your normal desktop menu maybe with a mega menu and then you decide, oh, but for the mobile, we're going to have an off canvas pop up or it might look a bit different because the mega menu doesn't work so well on the mobile or the way it looks. You can now drop in this other widget while you're on the header template and build it on the fly. Yeah, technically it is like another template. I mean, at the end of the day, it's another component. That's what websites are at the end of the day. But it means you can do everything in one place. And for you and your clients, that's easier to manage. Whereas they got header template, pop up template, and things get a little bit confusing. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I'll see you soon. This was the Elemental 3.22 Beta First Look.